Hello, my name is Joseph Thompson. I'm the CEO of ATEC. ATEC is a company that uses blockchain technology to guarantee international aid and social services get delivered on behalf of aid organizations, charities, NGOs, and governments. And what we've built is incredible. The traction and the timing for this is absolutely perfect. Last year, we carried out the world's first ever international aid delivery using blockchain technology to 500 Syrian refugees in Lebanon with the support of the Red Cross. The technology is ready. The current market conditions mean that the ever-increasing amount of refugees coming into Europe and the ever-increasing need for international aid in developing economies with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals mean that this technology is ready for prime time. It's not theory, it's actually working right now. And the traction we have is incredible. Last week we presented the United Nations in New York on blockchain technology across their 31 UN aid agencies. We partner with the Red Cross and we're partnered with the United Nations Development Programme. The team to execute this is absolutely phenomenal. We have the world's best blockchain developer, and I honestly mean that. We have advisors in the capacity of Professor of Economics, Konstantin Gurdjieff. We have Carl Gray, the original Bitcoin whale, who's our chairman of the board. We have Niall Dennehy, a COO with over 15 years experience in software development. You have myself, and we have a team of six developers coming on board with us. As well as our advisory board, we have some phenomenal people working for aid organizations and government advising us how to roll this technology out. The problem is basically, well, over $1 trillion is lost every year in international aid and it's robbed from developing economies because of fraud, the lack of transparency and corruption. Aid organisations and governments have never really been able to solve this problem, but we're solving it right now. There is existing competition out there, but they're using Bitcoin. Aid organisations will never use Bitcoin, but they'll use blockchain to enable that they can actually guarantee the flow of funds, social welfare services and the delivery of aid on blockchain, which means increased efficiency and lowers cost for them. Our business model and our scalability is quite unique. We see aid organisations and charities as our channel partners and our paying customers are governments and we are meeting with the government of Dubai and tomorrow I fly to Poland to present at the blockchain summit in front of the Polish and British government in Warsaw. But this is only the start. The reason we are, why we have an unfair advantage is because people are talking about using blockchain to solve these humanitarian problems now. We started two years ago. We're embedded with the United Nations, the Red Cross, governments and so on. And this week we go and meet with the US State Department and the World Bank in the US. And next week we go and meet three different clients in Arkansas, in Switzerland and in the UK. The social impact of our business is huge, absolutely huge. We've come through Techstars Tech Accelerator, the first social enterprise ever to get through using blockchain. We're on the mass challenge competition where we're in the final today. Last week we won a competition called the Hands On TV where we're going to Silicon Valley for a week. And last month we were finalists and we won an award in Beirut, Lebanon, supported by the Bank of Lebanon for our technology. The social impact means aid organizations can distribute more aid and more money to people on the ground while having bigger and greater accountability and transparency. So for the well-being of people, if aid organizations can save 20 to 30 percent through the loss of fraud and corruption by using blockchain technology, it means that people get 20 to 30 percent more. Aid organizations can control greater transparency and governments can fund aid agencies, aid organizations, charities, and so on. So please enjoy our presentation. My name is Joseph Thompson and I look forward to answering your questions later on. Thank you.